I can now see uh, now they're digging things up. This is all dug up now, right the way to uh, the road. Certainly a lot of <coughs> progress on that. You can certainly see how much uh, rubbish, concrete, tarmac, etc. they shifted there. Massive uh, pile of it. And the fellow at the back there is putting up more ruddy whiteboards. Not actually touching the wall, they're still digging. Got to dig digger in here now. Have to go around a little bit, just breaking up the uh, concrete. We've still got the two men doing the roof with protective gear on. And the actual wall itself, they've not touched, so the probably using that to sort of keep the dust down, keep the noise down and stop people uh, having a look. We've got the big grabby thing over here and it really is piling up, they're going to take some shift in this lot. He's not actually using a jackhammer, he's using the choppy offy thing to get some of this concrete up because presumably a lot of it's uh, reinforced with steel. So that might be the tool to sort of get under it and chop it off. It's certainly a bit quieter than the, the other lot. Very slow progress. Pick up what he's just pulled out. Massive. I don't know whether it's brick or not, but it's big. Don't want to break up. We've got the sprayers in there. I was hoping he was going to knock this rest of this wall down. I was just picking up all the rubbish and putting it in the skip before there was anything else. It's really coming in and shifting the rubbish. Amazing how it does all that and then picks up some little tiny bits and moves them. Just trying to work out if it's going to have a go at the actual wall. It's pulling out strip lights now. Some of the bottom of the wall gone. There's the door gone. <laughs> He's actually in a dangerous position because he nearly sort of fell over. Get the wall at the bottom there. Get the big bit down. spraying with plenty of water. It is a better day because it looks as though it's going to rain around the day. Thank you Mr Bus, just spoiled the view. Here's a bit more of the wall going and down it goes. And another bit. little wall it's fighting back. And so he's pulling them little bits down and the rest of it stood up. It's not much older that top section up. This 
this is the sort of action we want to see. Something a bit exciting. It's got to go any second now. There it goes, bang! Our excitement for the day. Get underneath it. That's not, not a good place to be. Seems a bit stupid that because there's no guarantee that ball's not going to come down at any given moment. So he's picking up five. <laughs> it's all got to come down in a minute, surely to God. <laughs> That's enough excitement for today. Cow go. Even the steels are wobbling. certainly see how much uh, rubbish, concrete, tarmac etc they shifted there. Massive uh, pile of it and the fellow at the back there is putting up more ruddy whiteboards. Not a lot of work being done this morning so far. Start to see the uh, out of concrete. And what's interesting is that there, which is one of them steel, I can see the problem of how big it is and the base of it. That's what they're up against. You can see they've come right the way up to the other end, breaking this concrete up. Nice collection of soil there. More skips on site. You can perhaps get a better view of that. Uh, steel base. So it's a massive thing to get out. In normal spot we can't even see uh, <laughs> barely the diggers now pile of concrete, brick and tarmac is huge. Just about make the ziggers out but they're not doing actually anything. The wall's still there. There's still that end bit to, to do. Still busy, one little guy here working away putting these more white board things up. But well, somebody has uh, brightened one up with a bit of graffiti. No idea what the tag is or where it's supposed to be, but it's an improvement. Just obsessed with this white. Interestingly, the pigeons are still enjoying it. <laughs> I ain't getting rid of the pigeons. Now's another one come. Four of them. 
Five on, another one come. You can see what's sort of left now that uh, gives the end bit to, to do. They are continuing with this whiteboarding stuff. So everywhere you look, it's just white, 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 white. And you wonder why. It's a lot of trouble to go to. It does make you wonder if there's something to hide or, you know, they're keeping everything secret. Because you could just put these metal things up within five minutes and that cost a bloody fortune. Well, surely we could get some posters up advertising the shops at the left, writing the damn place up. Now we'll woke up and they've got a scanner here and it's all scratching the reds and poking this scanner down. The diggers are digging. The men at the back are still taking off the uh, panels of the roof. Pigeons are still flying off. There's actually one on, on the roof there. Whether it is asbestos or whether it's just uh, old board and they don't want to spread the uh, fibres everywhere. But we can see the diggers swinging round and chasing about because of all this concrete. We can't actually see what they're really doing. view of the uh, chunk of metal that came out there. There's a lot more of them to come up. And the old digger we can see has got a load of looks like metal pipes. That's metal because we've got the skips for the, uh, for the metal and anything of interest. And lots more sort of base units for the white boards uh, just arriving. So it looks as though we're going to have even more white boards. There's still not a lot of action. It's, uh, they haven't woke up yet. You can see how the concrete's been smashed up here. We've still got the big pile next to the digger. Still the end of the building still there. So again we can see there's nothing much happening and presumably they've got to get rid of all this concrete before they can do anything. There's a lot of tarmac stuff here. Actual end of the building. Still nothing done. Still a big door down there. And obviously the walls still there. And we've got plenty of this new white board. So they've got all the roof off now at this far end. So they should be able to really crack on with uh, getting this bottom bit off. It's just a matter of cutting through the steels now and 
getting the rest of it off. Still got our friendly neighbourhood pigeons. They ain't going anywhere. Talking about regeneration, this uh, just on the bridge. It's now going to be a children's family hub. Was a financial expert, so that uh, must count for a bit of regeneration. But one of life's mysteries is the shop next to it. Never in my lifetime I've ever known it open. There's a new. Uh, I knew where she used to be mood as the jewellers, now Cheshire Haller Meat Centre, corner of uh, High Street. Just looking on the main uh, square by the library, and nothing's much changed. No regeneration here, obviously, the market's been done. People are still enjoying the uh, the sun. The old library, they're taking stuff out, but the old library, the big buildings, nothing's happening with. Britannia, which was uh, very controversial, moving from the square and placing the wrong way, is still here. So it's the only one that's actually facing the wrong way. We're inside the uh, crew market. Uh, just remind everybody, this Saturday, that's July, we've got a dog day and uh, some of the bands that are going to be on. That's from 1 o'clock till 10 o'clock, if you can hear me over the child. <laughs> so be sure to come and check that out, some of the groups that are on. We have got people working on the, uh, the roof. Are they grinding or cutting down the uh, some of the smaller steels? There's one digger there, just still breaking up the concrete. <clears throat> and this one here is having a tea break. I don't know if you can see where all the uh, <laughs> pigeons are coming to have a look. Getting quite entertaining, these pigeons.